I think a focus on value for money is always useful. It always was, always will be. Uh, it is something that is not just the new agenda. It should have been the old agenda as well. Okay. But I think that in the excitement after the Millennium Declaration was signed in 2000, and 2000 um, a lot of new money flooded into Africa, flooded everywhere. And people sort of naively thought that uh, just more money would be uh, solving all of the problems, and it didn't happen. And I think that there was not atten enough attention to to efficiency, to, to using the uh, money wisely. And I think that the approach on looking at efficiency now is, is, is very useful. <laughs> international economic uh, crisis since 19, uh, 2008, there has been a decline in uh, global aid. And the key question is for Africa to find innovative solutions to finance its own development. The health sector is the most important one because Africa's main resource is its people, their intelligence, their skills, and we have to invest more in those people. And investing in them is a function of education and health, because only good people, uh, healthy people can produce what the society needs. I was needs. saying during my presentation to the conference that investment in health is actually an investment in economic and social development because when you consider that the average life expectancy in africa is 54 years 21 to 22 years lower than say in the americas or in europe and that experts are now coming to the conclusion that a one extra year in life expectancy can add as much as 4% growth to GDP. Imagine what 20 years bridging gap will do uh, for Africa. I think um, sustainability is a very important uh, thing because as you've rightly put it, uh, external resources are dwindling with, uh, with, with, with every day. So domestic um, sources of financing are very important. The, 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 there are many things in that. Uh, for example, if your financing is largely based on external aid, yeah. then it may come tied to certain disease programs, which is not very good for building a sustainable public health program. So if you need to develop your minimum infrastructure set of facilities, yeah. and all your money is only for AIDS program, then obviously, even if you gain some success in aid, which itself will not be sustainable, you are failing to use that resources for systems development. So I think that unless it is government budgetary support based, and unless it is sector wide in the planning and development process, you are unable to make enough value for the money. It may apparently, and this is a Thing. In terms of a short-term, cost-effective, visible gain, you may get it by focusing on one disease. Maybe you may eliminate malaria or lower HIV, but it won't be sustainable. So sustainability requires a system-strengthening approach as different from a disease-centric approach. If you take Africa as a whole, it has almost a billion people. But the challenge, I think, is to break the inter-country barriers to movement of goods and people in order to uh, look at that as one market. The second uh, challenge we have is that our population is predominantly young. and we also have problems of the disease burdens such as malaria and many other 
HIV and AIDS. And it is in this context that one has to look for sustainable solutions to address both the employment for the young and the care, health care for all the people. Thank you.